Good morning, everybody. We're here in Rossley, Minnesota. Ugh. Just entering in what I'm eating for breakfast. We're keeping track of what we're eating again. I'm trying to lose this little bit of a belly that I've gained over the past few months. I've let myself go a little bit. It was fun. I have no regrets. It was so good. But now it's time to start losing this weight again. Summer is just around the corner. Spring is here. And it's time to use this warm weather to go for our daily walks. So today I'm going to stop in St. Cloud, Minnesota, which is a little ways down the road here, towards uh, just before Minneapolis on the I-94 in Minnesota. And they got a nice walking path that goes along the river that goes right past the Pilot Flying J truck stop there. I've seen it there a couple of times. I'm going to stop there. We're going to go explore that path. I don't have diesel with me, but uh, I still need to get my exercise, so I need to start uh, taking care of myself a little bit more, taking care of the old ticker. Uh, this whole engine has been idling for too long. It is not good to idle your engine for too long. It's designed to work So um, yeah, I gotta at least get out there and walk Don't have to run but at least get out there and walk every day. The goal is to lose weight this summer and fall We'll see what happens Let's get out there Today is the, the day we truly test to see if they got all the air out of my fuel. Today we get into Wisconsin and they'll have some proper hills there that we can test it on. But it's got to pull really hard for a little bit of time. 200 meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-94 East. Absolutely, that's a great idea. Thank you. Wish I would have thought of that. Minnesota. I just have to Google their lockdown rules. In 100 before meters, I go. turn left on Clearwater Road. I'm pretty sure it's okay to go alone on a walk on a deserted walking path down a river, but I have to make sure that uh, Minnesota, the state or this county I'm in, hasn't like. Uh, banned walking or something. I don't know. It's happened in other places. Maybe first I should find out if I can find a parking spot. Maybe that's what's most important here. These guys are parking here already. Right, it looks pretty full here. We might have to skip our walk. Well, maybe it's for the better. I, mean, I really want to get active, but you know, different places have different rules about if you can even go out right now because of the lockdown. Oh boy, no, there's no parking here even. Oh, well, I guess that's my answer then. I guess we're not going for a walk. Not here anyway. I don't want to cause any trouble. I mean, I'm a, I'm a guest here. I'm just bringing them some essential lumber and I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, is that a parking spot? No, nope, Bobtail. FedEx Expediter. That's okay. I know some FedEx expediters, they're good people. They're YouTubers. I think you know them as well. Okay, now there's, I could maybe park here. You know what, no, it's too, it's too packed here right now. This is crazy. Oh man. Well, you know, maybe we'll go for our walk this evening if it's not too, too cold. We're gonna be stopping in Black River Falls. We'll, we'll see what the, the rules are there. I'm pretty sure that I, like, there's the walking path on the other side of these trucks. I was going to go left down towards the town. Or can I park here? Nope. All the parking is taken up. Oh, wow. Wow. 
you know what? Maybe I'll go this way. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Man, these roads are packed with trucks all the way down here. See right here on the right. That's, that's the walking path. Turn left on 41st Street South and Man. Oh, turn left okay. into Oh, there's a parking spot up here. Okay, okay. All right, we'll park here. And we'll uh, we'll Google up what St. Cloud's rules are here. In 200 meters, turn left on 41st Street South and Man. Turn left into 120 meters. What is with all the trucks here, though? What's going on? Oh, there's a fire hydrant here. No, I can't park here. Oh. Can't park here, okay. Look at all these trucks that are parked along the street. I've never seen it this bad. That's crazy. I wanted to go down my walking path. Got all excited. Okay, well, you know what? I guess it's just a sign that maybe we should just hold off. Maybe we'll come down here on the way back. It is a little chilly today. There's nowhere to park. In 200 meters, turn left on Roosevelt Road, CR7. What's going on in St. Cloud, Minnesota? Why is there so many trucks lined up here? That's crazy. Okay, well, you know. Maybe another time. Back onto the freeway we go. So, uh, it's about another, I don't know, three or four hours till we get to Black River Falls. Uh, I can have a shower there tonight then at the Flying J. That'll be nice. So far, I haven't had any problems having a shower every day, finding places to park. Well, except for here. This was crazy. That was a lot of parking. Uh, but that's just a daily thing. That's not because of the pandemic. I mean, that's it's always hard to find parking as a truck driver. Uh, I haven't had any problems getting food because I've always gotten my food from the grocery store. And those are still open, so I still got lots of food this in my road truck. For 73 kilometers. I haven't found any bathrooms to be closed yet. Every single place I've stopped at has bathrooms open and clean. I don't know, I, I've heard the stories of how hard it is for us truckers out there and I, I, I can't confirm that myself, honestly. I have been perfectly fine. So, I can't speak for everybody, but I don't know. I don't know where all this hardship is is at because to me, maybe I just don't expect the world. I don't know. I just I'm just happy with what I get. I mean, I'm, I've just seen a lot of news articles. You know, people saying, "Oh, the bathrooms are closed. The truck stops are closed. Can't find food." And I'm just sitting there scratching my head, like, "What are you talking about? I have a hot shower every day." I haven't found one bathroom closed yet. I have no problems finding food. I've got tons of food in my truck here to last me like two weeks. What are they talking about? I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't been everywhere. But I haven't seen it myself. But I do appreciate all the concern that people are showing truckers. And I appreciate that. I can't tell you whether or not it's true that people have been saying it's getting difficult out here, but. I think, I think I would have to travel a little bit more to verify that in all regions. Oh dear. Look at this truck coming the opposite direction there. There's a pickup, there's this truck. You see the front end of their truck? You probably can. It's covered in snow. You know what that means? That's, that's your weather forecast right there. If the trucks that are coming towards you have the front end all covered in wet snow, well, I think that pretty much explains what's coming. We've got a little bit of moisture in the air. The air it is raining very moistly on the truck right now. But I think that there's going to be 
worse weather ahead. Maybe by the time we get there, you see this truck is coming from behind me. He's got no snow on his truck. The truck's going the other way, got snow. So maybe by the time we get to wherever those trucks picked up all that snow, it'll already have passed on. I don't know. We'll see. I am tired of snow. Have I told you that yet? I'm done with winter. We broke up a long time ago. A long time ago. She keeps coming back though. Doesn't want to let me go. I want nothing to do with her. So Minneapolis has been fun. I don't know what's going on here, but it's mid-April. Someone needs to tell them. I don't know who's in charge here, but this is crazy. This unacceptable. Unacceptable. In 300 meters, keep to the left on I-94. We should be seeing like trees budding. Green grass growing. I thought I was supposed to have beachfront property by this point. Palm trees growing in my front yard. No, we get snow in mid-April. In 100 meters, keep to the left on I-94. I wonder if this weather is going north. It wasn't snowing at home yet, but I bet you it's headed up there. Well, everyone. We're in our same spot as usual. Here, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. And I don't know if you've guessed or not, but we're not going for a walk today. We skipped it today. <laughs> we ran into some snow. And it's supposed to be like this till 7 a.m. And I gotta leave here at about 7.15 a.m. So hopefully the roads will be clear in the morning. They weren't too bad, they were just wet right now, but Ah, uh, what is going on with all this snow? It was a good day though. It was a good day. Truck went, truck treated me good today. Uh, for once, it was a good day. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I hope you had a good day. Hope you're doing fine. I hope that uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel of everything that's going on. Hope that you're making it by. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna deliver this uh, lumber in the morning and then figure out what we're doing from there. I have no idea yet. So tomorrow is a mystery. We'll see what happens.